Hey guys, very good evening. This is Sundar Abhijanathan here. Uh, I Adiraj. How is everybody doing? What's up guys? So welcome to the part two, session two of land, soil, water, natural vegetation and wildlife resources. So it was a very interesting session what we had that day. I hope you remember. So now we are going to do a continuation of that. It's going to be a very, very crisp session. Okay. Lovely. Yeah, I, I did. I cut my hair here today. How is it guys? Good. Park, it was from Green Friends. Whether I look different or not, I don't know. But tell me guys, do I look good? Come on, motivate me, don't break my heart. Thank you, Govin. Thank you so much. Hi, Richard, Menti Man. Okay, guys. Uh, so, as usual, we'll just leave 30 seconds for a few more guys to join and then we'll jump into the session. Okay. So, by the way, for people who are new to this particular session, just a few quick words about Young Wonders. So, who are we at Vedantu Young Wonders? We are a channel dedicated to 6th, 7th, and 8th grades. And what do we do? We conduct live sessions for mathematics, science, social, and English. Yes? And what do we cover? We cover your entire year syllabus. So that means these sessions will happen throughout the year. Guys, every day for all the three gate sessions will be happening. Don't miss it. It's a great place to be because it's not just the academic sessions alone. Every live session will be followed by a quiz. So that means what? Today, after the live session, now you're going to have a quiz. A very, very interesting and, uh, you know, interactive quiz. And apart from that, you will also have loads of spell bee contests. Uh, also, you'll have a lot of GK quizzes. Today we had a GK quiz on women leaders of the world. Day after tomorrow, you'll have spell bee contest at 7 p.m. on Sunday. So, great place to be, guys. If you are new to Vedantu Young Wonders, subscribe to the channel. And help us know that you like the channel. Yeah. So, yes. And at Vedanta Young Wonders, we believe every child is special, which is very, very important. You are unique and special. So, okay, guys, before I start, just a quick word about uh, very, very exciting news. Vedantu's best subscription, we call it as Vedantu Pro. Vedantu Pro is coming to you at a massive, massive discount. How much is it? A 4,000 rupee course is coming to you for 2,699. Almost a 40% discount, is it not? Yes. So, uh, avail that, note down this link, vdnt.in slash ytpro. Why is it so important? What's, what is so great about that course? The subscription? Guys, unlimited doubt solving, live sessions you will have, and you will also have tests, assignments, well given, you know, crafted notes as well. And the best part, guaranteed score improvement, recordings will also be there for you. Getting it? So such a great course comes to you. All you have to do is note down, you have noted that link, right? Have you noted down this particular uh, code? S-W-R-P-R-O. Okay, that's the coupon code, discount code. So now, quickly, you have to go to that link and then choose the grade that you are in. Once you choose, choose the grade, Click on get subscription. Choose how many months subscription you need. Right? And once you are done, that's it. You are there enrolled into Vedantu's Pro subscription. India's best teachers will take the session. And uh, not just that, guys. Entire curriculum will be covered. Perfectly along in, in sync with your school syllabus. Okay. Now moving on to today's session, part two. So what are we going to deal with? A little about water. How important is water? The problem is water was, uh, water even is a renewable resource, right? However, for different reasons, uh, like natural calamities, the way we disturb the you know environment, 
water availability is becoming scarce so it is almost kind of no more a renewable resource it's gone to that extent is it not number 3 what do we need to do to conserve water resources because it is kind of getting dried up so what should we be doing to conserve water resources and four very important wildlife what is happening to wildlife there are a lot of species suddenly going extinct so what all things we should do about it and is the government doing anything about it we will see there number 4 number 5 natural vegetation how it gets created how it gets formed in other words and how, what is the kind of distribution okay and six is what to do to conserve vegetation and wildlife similar to water resources what should i do to conserve vegetation and wildlife kind of 10 12 slides only once we deal with all these things in detail we will jump into menti yeah super my dear kids let's start with water uh, we all know that 75% of the earth's surface is covered with water and oceans yeah oceans cover two third of the earth's surface right and distant the difference is ocean water is not consumable it's saline right salt uh, composition is very high so ocean water is not consumable so uh, fresh water is only fresh water we get it from rivers lakes etc fresh water is only 2.7% of the total water yeah guys two three data points 75% of earth surface is covered by water oceans among that ocean form two thirds and number three ocean water you can't use for 2.7% only is usable which is coming from fresh water so where do we get fresh water typically 70% of fresh water comes from ice melting right in uh, glaciers in antarctica greenland mountain regions one leaf so put the, you know moving everything together only 1% of fresh water is available and fit for human use so the entire human uh, species all right is thriving is with this 1% of fresh water right so what we use put together is only 1% of the total water availability strange is it not so do you know water cycle is the continuous movement of the water above and below the surface of the earth so below the surface of the earth oceans again you know it goes to the clouds sun again it comes back as rain that is nothing but the water cycle right so water cycle is the continuous movement of water on above and below the surface of the earth my dear kids water availability we all know i don't need to speak about this right we all know that there is a lot of scarcity when it comes to the availability of water is it not hey saili i told you it's tomorrow right come on okay hi raghupati i am fine guys is it not tomorrow buffering no guys it's pretty clean okay so humans use huge amount of water our consumption is very high our wastage is also very high that's the sad part what we consume all right the total consumption in that you'll find 50% gets wasted also we use water for agriculture industries electricity that is the hydro power as we call it that also consumes water along with this apart from this population is increasing and water supply remains the same so because of which shortage arises especially in places like where i am bangalore chennai water scarcity is very high you getting it so demand of water the problem of water availability is because of this and water scarcity is very very high in africa west asia south asia usa western usa northwest mexico guys it's not just us in india throughout the world this problem is there 
scarcity is all about uh, you know improper consumption number 1 and contamination of water water becomes unusable industries put all their wastage into that that water is not usable is it not so scarcity arises for two reason improper consumption we don't consume it properly in the right way and contamination of water whatever water is already available is not so becomes unusable hey savita i am in you know bangalore hi kirtana beauty kirtana right guys so what should i do to conserve water now number 1 treat polluted water ensure that you know you make them usable guys do you know what one magic happened due to corona last 3 months because of the lockdown because of less pollution etc majority of our water sources have become usable now which is a great news is it not is it not right hey guys i thought it is uh, tomorrow yaar everyone is saying show your daughter show <laughs> tomorrow for sure right moving on so this is one make the polluted water convert that to be, you know make it usable number 2 forest and other vegetation is a great source to ensure water is conserved ground water specifically right so what do we need to do we need to ensure we don't really destroy forest afforestation should improve deforestation should come down we should not cut down trees and other vegetation as well third please save water water harvesting guys is everyone aware about water harvesting specifically rain water harvesting I will wake. I do. Yeah, come on. Every day you join. Yes. Wow. That's what they mean here. So to preserve or conserve water, number one, ensure polluted water is treated and make made usable. Number two, afforestation should be encouraged. Vegetation should be preserved. Number three, water harvesting. Okay, that saves surface runoff. That means what? The ground water is kept intact. canals should be properly lined to minimize loss of water do you know a huge huge quantity of water goes to the ocean yes it is a wastage right usable water rain water goes to the ocean okay sprinklers effectively when we use sprinklers you know sprinklers right they are a great ways to minimize water usage okay if you go to villages and all you will have pump sets where huge amount of water is flushed flushed into the irrigate uh, irrigation field instead if you use sprinklers they will just sprinkle and put only the required amount of water okay you getting it in dry regions drip irrigation is also useful so guys now you know a little about water conservation right super now how do I, what do i do with my natural vegetation and wildlife so when it comes to wildlife my dear kids what is it natural vegetation remember our forests and wildlife are existing only because of the synchronization between land which is lithosphere hydrosphere which is water and atmosphere air only when these three are pro in proper sync wildlife and vegetation will be there so that means this is called what we call as ecosystem okay the balance the synchronization between land water air and the living things you put together you call it as ecosystem guys i hope this is uh, you you are clear with this right all right amazing so now See, it's a Jaya, Adilin Jaya, right? Farmers are not getting water because what? Either we have polluted the water or we have exhausted the water. It's not that water is not at all available. Water is available, but we because of our improper consumption and contamination, water is made unusable, and you can't give it to farmers, right? 
these are the problems you getting it right so when it comes to this uh, the importance of wildlife and natural vegetation so typically what happens if uh, if you look at it plants provide us with timber plants provide timber which is wood and they are those that timber is used as shelter for animals correct that is first use of plant number two plant give oxygen release oxygen which is a great source of life uh, support for all living beings especially human beings number two third plant also conserve underground water third use fourth use plant gives water they give fruits nuts latex every part of the plant is literally usable correct and five plant also protects the soil okay for growing crops that is why afforestation should be encouraged all the time these five advantages again wood and through wood plant give shelter plant produce oxygen plant help us store underground water they give all fruits nuts medicine everything and they help protect soil and growing for growing crops these are the five advantages of crop plants you you know benefits of growing plants okay wildlife guys is everyone clear with uh, you know give me a yo is everyone clear till this come on come on come on let me see Are you guys clear? Right. Super. So what do we mean by wildlife? Many a times no one people don't know what is wildlife. Wildlife includes animals, birds, insects including living beings in water. Many a times we don't treat that as wildlife at all, right? That is also wildlife. And put together they give us milk, meat, right? uh wool yeah birds feed vivek it is uh, nothing but land birds feed on insects and they act as decomposers insects are great uh, decomposers guys that is why the food chain is so important right and all kinds of animals integrate to maintain that food chain the balance in the ecosystem are you clear right guys i hope you got it now so distribution of natural vegetation wildlife typically for that number 1 right afforestation should be encouraged which is super important is everyone clear about it growth of vegetation see if the forest the the, the quantity the volume of forest that we have it has a lot to do with how well we are able to maintain the moisture in the soil so what do i need to do to you know to ensure that the temperature and moisture is kept at the perfect level right because this is one a major factor influencing the vegetation and the wildlife surprising isn't it so major vegetation types typically what are the different vegetation types guys you look at it we have forests right forests are used by mostly by birds wild animals a specific uh, you know set of species of birds and animals apart from that what the other things come into vegetation you have grasslands correct where you use cattle cattle rearing happens okay for grazing grasslands are also another type of vegetation third is scrubs scrubs tundra these are very small kinds of uh, you know vegetation uh, species which are important and however they are very major throughout the world they are present you getting it so guys we are trying to analyze what is the distribution of natural vegetation and wildlife okay so for that it is very essential you know what decides whether forests grow whether grasslands evolve or they keep growing so you need to know the major factors here clear so with in places wherever there is moderate rainfall where rainfall is moderate you know 
those are the places where you will find grasslands yeah so remember this who knows there might be a quiz question coming from this getting it right now apart from this thorny scrubs and scrub dig where do you find thorny scrubs let me give you an example cactus yes cactus is a thorny shrub right where does cactus grow can you tell me where does cactus grow yeah uma uma nagalingam right they grow in deserts typically dry area see you it is mentioned thorny shrubs and scrubs they grow in dry areas with low rainfall tundra vegetation generally happens in polar regions so now you know what are the different types of vegetation forest grassland scrubs tundra so grassland happen in area with uh, moderate rainfall shrubs scrubs thorny ones low rainfall like deserts tundra vegetation in polar regions everyone clear till this okay now guys last part just two more slides and we are in so problems associated with conserving all these things changes of climate and human interference okay climate change human beings in interfere and destroy forests number one that's a major problem which influences plant and animal life many species died because they did not get a congenial a friendly environment to live okay guys even tigers are endangered you know that right now very very few tigers are there throughout the world now there are multiple species which are on the verge of extinction so what are the different things that we are doing we are cutting down trees allowing soil to erode floods etc whatever reason lot of construction happened creating pollution forest fires tsunamis landslides all these things are factors which are stopping conservation of the natural vegetation and wildlife my dear kids hadil very simple hadil when we say natural vegetation we speak about forests grasslands uh, shrubs scrubs tundra and to conserve them what are the problems that are there which is stopping us from conserving this natural vegetation and wildlife changes in climate right deforestation soil erosion all these things what you see on your screen these are factors which really disturb the conservation of the natural vegetation so another problem look at wildlife so many people kill right hey guys look at that picture elephant trunk skin of the tiger we call it as poaching right illegally tigers were killed we call it as poach killed because for the skin skin nail teeth they are very costly there is a huge illegal trade happening on this so what all living beings you know wildlife tiger lion elephant deer black buck everything is poached you getting it so poaching is a major problem people illegally hunting these animals manasi what did you not understand please let me know so that i can help you guys is everyone understanding any any confusion till this this session is pretty simple guys it's not a very complicated session right so what should we do water water availability water scarcity we dealt with conservation of water what we should do we dealt with now we also dealt with for natural vegetation and uh, yeah now and wildlife what should we do that also we have seen tell us is everyone clear guys if you have doubt please type what is your doubt
Hey guys, what's happening? Balasundar, what is your doubt? Guys, tundra is nothing but the vegetation that you see in polar regions. So cold, etc. Right? That's a tundra. It's a type of vegetation. Okay. Vegetation is nothing but growth of, uh, you know, different species of plants here. That's called vegetation. Trees, uh, shrubs, everything put together, you call it as vegetation. Any other question? Okay. My dear kids. I'm going back just to quickly help you guys understand. See here, I'm just running you through so that, you know, many of you are saying you didn't understand. So I'm just running you through now. Now you know about water. I hope you are clear till this. Right? 75% of earth is covered by water. Again, in that oceans, two thirds is the ocean. And fresh water is only 2.7%. Even in that, most of them are in ice sheets, glaciers, etc only 1% is usable. Clear? The entire uh, ecosystem is thriving only with this 1% water. Number one. Number two, yeah, I, I do. Water is has high demand. I have explained you why. Because we don't consume properly water and we also contaminate, pollute water. So, throughout the world, not just in India, throughout the world, we have water problems. Right. It is all because of the overpopulation and overuse of water. Now, what should I do to conserve water? Please ensure the polluted water is treated and made usable. Grow more forests and vegetation. Number two, ensure you conserve water by harvest, harvesting. Number three, please, you know, dig canals, keep them uh, properly built to minimize water loss. Number four, Use uh, things like sprinklers to irrigate fields. Number five. So now coming back to natural vegetation. Natural vegetation is nothing but the different kind of forests that we have and the wildlife. Right? Now, let's start with natural vegetation plants. How are plants useful for us? They help us provide wood. They, and in turn with wood, we get shelter, right? Houses are built. Number two, plant produce oxygen. They also help us store underground water. Okay. Number four, plant gives. You get a lot of stuff from plant. Fruits, nuts, gum. There are plants used as medicines. Lot of advantages. And five, plants also strongly hold the soil moisture, protect the fertility of the soil as well. Clear, guys? So, wildlife typically... You find that animals, birds, they live in sync and uh, they live in harmony with the ecosystem. So distribution of wildlife. Right? I think I explained this very clearly. I think I explained everything once again. Are you clear now? Give me a yo and tell me you more. I am well be motivated. Menti is there, Seema, don't worry. Okay, cool. So guys, we spoke about wildlife. What is the problem of uh, with wildlife? People hunt these, uh, you know, animals for trade, illegal trade of, uh, you know, hides, skins, uh, nails, teeth, horns, and feathers. So, what are the animals that are poached? Tiger, lion, elephant, deer, black box, etc. So now this is where we were. Now to conserve resources, what has government done? National parks, wildlife sanctuaries, biosphere reserves, where the entire environment is protected. Right? Forests are like kind of biosphere reserves. They have, they have been created and maintained by the government. Awareness programs by the forestry. Okay. Wanamahotsawa. 
should be encouraged. Programs. These are programs, guys. Laws were passed very strictly against trading, poaching of uh, that is uh, birds and animals. In India, you cannot kill lion, tiger, deer, great Indian bustards, and peacocks. So they have made it illegal. So, my dear kids, before we move on to Menti, so what are we going to do? Is last slide. There is an international, or uh, you know, kind of a convention, a body, an international convention. It's called CITES, Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species. CITES. Why is the why? You know, what is the purpose of that? Their job is to ensure plants and animals, specifically, all right, are not disturbed. And whatever, you know, they also have a list of several species where you cannot trade. You cannot kill them, hunt them, you cannot do a trade. Clear? Okay, kids, jumping on to Menti now. Here we go with the Menti, guys. Here we go with the Menti part. For people who are new, the Menti code, you have to open a new tab. Type www.menti.com. M E N T I, Menti. Menti.com. It will ask you for a code. The code is 543211. 543211. Nathan, over exploitation means overuse. There is a resource. You have to use it in a limited way and allow it to uh, renew, get renewed, right? Resource, yeah? A source is available which you for use. You have to allow it to resource. Again and again, it, you should be made, you know, you should allow it to become usable. But instead, we overuse it, it gets over. You getting it? That is called overexploitation. Ronit, point taken, no problem. So, guys, the Menti code is 543211. I repeat, 543211. Do not close YouTube, my dear kids. Please keep YouTube intact and open a separate tab. Type www.menti.com. Nathan, I think I just explained you, right? Yes. So, my dear kids, are you ready? Shall we start? So, here we go. First question. Nathan, just now I said what is over exploitation? Overuse of a resource is called over exploitation. Okay. Usage of something in an unjustified way is called over exploitation. Okay. First question on your screens. Here we go. What is not an example of groundwater? Water flowing in rivers, water through wells, water through hand pumps, both two and three. One is not an example of groundwater. Groundwater. Guys, answer carefully. If you are in villages or kind of tier two cities also, you will know this very clearly. Arushi is saying easy peasy as usual. Okay, water flowing in rivers. Guys, water through well is water seeped into the ground. Water flowing in a river is not a groundwater, right? It's running water. Are you clear? Lovely, guys. Now, let us see who is topping the leaderboard for the first question. 
Ankan Das, HSA, Ayush, Beyonce, and Vatsal. Top five. Next five. Rajendra, Anshul, Srishti, Heartstorm, Sir. So, question number two. Be ready. Why is it necessary to increase the area under forest? In other words, why should we increase forest? Simple. Why should I increase the vegetation? To maintain ecological balance, forests absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, forests help in raising the level of precipitation, all of these. Answer wisely. Think and answer. Don't hurry. How many of you chose all of this? Wow. You guys are smart here. Yeah? 2 1 1. Well done. So now the leaderboard for question number 2. Shwetu, yes, I understand. But that's how it works, right? Vatsal is topping the list, followed by Krish, Saranya, Ankan. So once Krish, Saranya, Ankan, I'm sorry, top 5. Sridhidi, Hemang, Trikodishwar, Adarshan, Pura. 6 to 10. Here we go. Question number three. Anukkanti is saying, easy PC now. In which of these domains, living beings are interrelated and interdependent on each other? Hydrosphere, lithosphere, atmosphere, or biosphere? In which of these domains, one among this, all the living beings are interrelated and Interdependent. Guys, answer carefully. Wow. Awesome. Not bad. Biosphere. How many of you chose it? Good, guys. Keep it up. That's my boys and girls. 198 of you got this right. So, leaderboard after what? Three, three questions, right? What's all... Uh, Sharanya, Vansh, Ankan, and Chris. Vatsal is at the top. 6 to 10. Uh, Srinidhi, Trikodishwar, Patricia, Asmita. Oh, Asmita and Sai Gayatri. Okay, question number 4. Guys, come on, be all geared up. What percentage of the surface of the earth is occupied by water as ice sheets and glaciers? 70, 29, 82, 40. Think, think, think. Do the calculation now. Ice sheets and glaciers. So how many of you? Yeah, 228 guys, not bad. Well done. I thought you will struggle to get this. 70% All right, of the Earth's surface, waters in the form of ice sheets and glaciers. So now, Vatsal, Chris, Ankan, Srinidhi, Patricia, top five. Dadri, six. Sai Gai, three, seven. Ashmita, eight. Top Gun and Subscribe Lovely. 9 and 10 respectively. Here we go. Sunita, whatever is your doubt, ma, please type it. Adil, you too. Type hashtag Shiksha and put your doubt. The fresh water is continuously being renowned and recharged through the... It's not renowned, guys. It's a spelling mistake. It's renewed. The fresh water is continuously being renewed and recharge through water cycle, rock cycle, renewable cycle, mineral cycle. Yeah, time is up. Wow, water cycle. Remember, <clears throat> I told you, you know, I was explaining to you guys how so the water under the ground goes above the ground, gets to the clouds, right? Whatever in the form of the water vapor, again, comes back to the earth. 
in the form of rain. So, now the leaderboard. It's okay, Madesh. Vivek, now it's too late, right? You're speaking about question number one. Vatsal, Anka, and Sri Kresh, Srinidhi, and Patricia. Top five. Sai Gai 3, Ashmita, Top Gun, Badri, and subscribe. Next five. Guys, which question are we in? Five now? Six. Where do you find thorny shrubs and scrubs? Oh, wow. Cake walk here. So simple. Moist regions, dry regions, polar regions, equatorial regions. Hi, Chirag. No problem. What's the issue? Time is running. Last three seconds. Sahili started now. Sir, easy peasy. Dry regions. Remember I gave you an example of cactus? Yes, 246. 246 of you got this right. So after six questions, where are you? Still, Vatsal is at the top. Followed by Ankan, Krish, Srinidhi, Sai Gayatri. Smith at 6, Badri 7. Subscribe, Arman, Hitesh, 8, 9, and 10, respectively. Guys, probably the last question for today. Here we go. Which among the following is not a natural factor for deforestation? Deforestation is cutting down trees, soil erosion, landslides. Constructional activities, tsunami. So, for trees to vanish, one among these four is not a natural factor. So, how many of you chose option C? 191 of you. Wow, not bad. Now that gets me to the next question. Uh, the leaderboard. Who is the winner for today? Abhinav, come on. So looks like Watsal is the winner for today. Well done, Watsal. Keep it up, beta. 6,837 points. Many, many congratulations, Watsal. And Srinidhi, Sai Gayatri. Deswal, Smita, <coughs> subscribe, Oakley champion, Nia, Dark Ray. Guys, everyone in the leaderboard, many, many congratulations to all of you for having made it to the leaderboard for today. So, kids. So, I hope, you know, the, se the session is a bit kind of pressy, right? But I hope you understood what is important, what is water, why water scarcity is you know becoming an issue what to do to conserve water similarly when it comes to natural vegetation and wildlife what should be done right and when it comes to wildlife what should we do to preserve natural vegetation on one side wildlife on the other side what are the acts that government is taking for this we have dealt with so i hope the session was very informative my dear kids i know it's uh, you know uh, many many of you had doubts. I think I explained everything once again. So hope you are clear now. Still, if you have doubts, put hashtag Shiksha. Type the doubt. I'll ensure I clear all of them. Right? So if you like the video, hit the like button. And newcomers, I'm sure you like the quiz also. Hit the subscribe button and enable all notifications. This way, we will know that you are with us. Okay? So thank you so much, guys, for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay indoors. I'll meet you tomorrow, right? Until then, bye-bye from Sundar Ravindranathan.